If you want to capture your iPad screen on OBS Studio or want to extend your iPad display on a desktop monitor or an LCD monitor, how you can do that very, very easily. I'll explain that in today's video and all this while charging your iPad. You need, of course, a couple of things to make this happen, but it's a very simple setup and I'll tell you a step by step guide in terms of how to enable that. So let's get the video started. Now, since we want to display our iPad screen onto other peripherals, we need a connection mechanism. What you see over here is an iPad iPad Air 5 and if you have newer generation iPad this will work for you if you have an older generation iPad then there may be slight variations so I have got an iPad Air 5 and it has a USB-C connector port over here so what I have done is I have gone to the market and I have bought this USB-C dongle there's something special about this USB dongle so first of all this USB dongle has got the connector pair as the uh, as, as USB-C over here but uh, these all ports they all work very very beautifully with this iPad once I once I connect this the good thing about this is it has got a USB-C pass through. Now what we said is we want our iPad to be charging as well while we are trying to portray or while we are trying to display the image of our iPad onto other peripherals. So the, there is an HDMI port which of course we need to connect. There are USB ports, there are SD card port and there is an Ethernet port as well but it is going to be very very simple uh, connection as I will be showing in just in a while. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this USB-C hub and going to connect that in iPad and as soon as I do that iPad has detected it but does not show any sign but if you look at this a hub USB-C hub you can see that a light turns on over here which which is an indication that the connection between the USB hub and this iPad is successful what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the HDMI cable of my desktop monitor with this and as I do that uh, the screen on my monitor should come up so once I've done that I'll just showcase my screen so this is the screen uh, that I have and I'll also show the iPad which is there so this is the iPad and as you can see that the screen can now now we see the iPad is now also being displayed on the desktop monitor. So it has worked very, very beautifully with this simple connection. And uh, this is a very cheap uh, USB-C hub. It is not very costly. So you can see that this has worked and this is how you can display your iPad screen on a desktop monitor or an LCD that you have at home and watch things on bigger screen. Now what I'm going to do next is I want this, uh, my iPad also to be charged while I'm displaying the image. And so what I'm going to do is I have the USB-C cable and I'm going to plug it in in this USB pass-through port. And when I do that, you can see that the, US, the iPad is now also getting charged. Uh, this, it is getting charged over here. My connection is still there. And if I show you my monitor, my desktop monitor, you can see that it is also charged. It is also getting charged and you can see all the contents which are there on my iPad on the screen. So this is how you can portray your iPad screen very, very easily on, on a desktop monitor or an LCD. Now let's also cover that how you can showcase your iPad content on the OBS Studio. So you can see that the OBS Studio is in front of me and I will showcase you now what are the steps that you need to do to be able to capture that. The next thing we are going to do is display our iPad screen on OBS Studio or capture our iPad screen via OBS Studio while you are capturing the other things. You may have a requirement that you want to scribble something on iPad or maybe showcase something on iPad while you are making videos and this process will help you uh, do that very very easily. You of course need to first connect the USB-C dongle that I showcase you and I have uh, plugged in the charging cable so that our iPad doesn't drain out. So that, that uh, process is very very simple as I have already covered. And what I need is now I need another HDMI cable. Uh, this HDMI cable will be pro taking the output from this port, which of course we have seen as well. But this time this HDMI cable will not be plugged into a into a into a monitor because we are not going to capture it in the monitor. What we are going to do is we are going to use a dongle like this. This is an HDMI video capture device. It has got a USB 3 port on one side and it has got an HDMI port on the other side. And I'm going to I'm going to plug the other end of this HDMI cable into this HDMI video capture device. Let me do that very, very quickly. And once I've done that, we'll go into OBS Studio and we will uh, make the connection to be able to display our iPad screen on OBS Studio. So while I'm doing that thing, I'll show you showcase iPad Studio. Okay, let me first, uh, you know, make the connection over here as well. So let me plug this in. And uh, now our connections, physical connections are completed. Now let's go to OBS Studio. When you go into OBS Studio, 
you will be having something which says a camera it or a video capture device whatever it is i'll go to this and uh, i will go to the usb video because my hdmi capture device comes as a usb video once i do that it showcases my ipad over here you can see whatever i'm doing on my ipad is being shown over here and uh, you know if i do okay i can see my ipad over here so if i do full camera like this you can see my ipad screen very very clearly on on the OBS studio I can of course drag and drop or I can you know resize this and I can use it with my other um, other devices or other peripherals as well so that's how you can capture your iPad on OBS studio as well as you can uh, portray the screen of iPad on either the desktop monitor or on LCD monitor if this video has helped you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos in the future thank you and have a great day